A mural featuring prominent black figures is vandalized with racist graffiti and police are trying to figure out who did it. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. It happened this weekend on Washington University's campus and Five on Your Side's Travis Cummings spoke with one of the mural's artists who says this vandalism is the complete opposite of his work's intent. Mike and you can still see some of those images covered up to hide some of that negativity. The artists behind this never ending story mural say the goal of it was to highlight some of the wonderful things African Americans have done throughout our history. They say after it's all cleaned up, they hope it can still be a canvas for change. We use our art as our voice and when someone does something like that, that's like diminishing our voice. When Brock Seals and his fellow St. Louis artists went to work on this black history inspired mural at Washington University, the plan was for everyone who crosses through the South 40 underpass on campus to feel inspired through the faces and words of black game changers from John Lewis to Chadwick Boseman. When I did this one, um, it was the day after he passed. On Saturday, that work designed to foster unity faced the opposite. University officials pointed out the installation had been vandalized. Those prominent names covered with racist remarks and a white supremacist group symbol defiling the canvas. For Seals, the destruction is twofold. And as a black man, first, I face these things on a daily. So I'm outraged, but I'm not surprised. Now, from an artist standpoint, I'm definitely devastated. The university's vice chancellor responded to the act, saying, quote, there is no place on our campus for these behaviors, and this type of harmful action will not be tolerated or ignored. The Missouri Council on American Islamic Relations also called for a hate crime investigation into the act, saying, quote, we condemn this hateful act and stand in solidarity with the black community at Washington University. Seal says he'll be back to restore the work. This was supposed to be taking the stress away, a reliever. But for now, challenges the community to do better. I hope this will definitely continue the conversation. No suspects have been identified, but officials say they do have cameras that they hope will lead them to the person responsible for this. And keep in mind, this is finals week, so administrators want to make sure that students are on their best game. So they have a list of resources for those impacted by this incident. We'll have those for you inside the story on our website. I'm Travis Cummings, five on your side. Do you have a recycling